Hi everyone. This video will cover a brief introduction to linear algebra, uh, which will consist the first module that we cover in this course. So I'll begin by defining the central quantity of linear algebra, which is a matrix. which is a rectangular array, usually it's an array of numbers, but uh, it can be an array of other things for which we can define the usual mathematical operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and an inverse operation. So a matrix A is usually denoted like this. The elements are written uh, with indices encoding their position in the array. So in the first row and first column, you have element A11. In the second row and first column, you have element 21. In the first row and second column, you have element A12 and so on. And these arrays can be of an arbitrary rectangular shape. In this case, we can write down a N by M matrix where N is the number of rows and M is the number of columns. A special case of a matrix, which you are familiar with from uh, physics are vectors which in uh, n dimensions can be written like this. So x with a little arrow on top, they can have elements x1, x2, all the way to xn. So there are n elements in this vector. And you can think of this as a n by one matrix. All right. So with matrices being the central quantity of linear algebra, what I consider to be the central equation of linear algebra is sometimes called a matrix equation which is a matrix A operates on a vector X and you get as a result of that a vector B. And usually you know two of these quantities and you're interested in determining the third one. And a lot of the tools developed for linear algebra have been to solve different incarnations of this equation. All right, so now we can start defining each one of these operations for matrices and we'll do it with examples. So addition and subtraction are fairly straightforward. If you have a matrix A, 
we'll just consider a two by two matrix for simplicity and a second matrix B, which is also two by two. Then if you add these two matrices, the result will be the element wise addition of each one of their elements. So the first element of this matrix, which we can call C, will be A1 plus A11 plus B11. The element in the second row and first column will be A21 plus B21. The element in the first row and second column will be A12 plus B12. And the element in the second row and second column will be A22 plus B22. Okay, and it's the same idea for subtraction. So I'll just denote it like this. And I'll start introducing a notation that is sometimes useful for efficient computation, which is known as index notation. So we can say that the element of matrix C in row I and column J is given by the element of matrix A in row I and column J plus the corresponding element in matrix B. And it's the same thing whether you add or subtract. All right. And you'll notice that in order to be able to add and subtract two matrices, they have to be square matrices of the same dimension. So by square matrices, I mean uh, N and M have to be equal. So the number of rows have to equal the number of columns. If uh, matrices A and B are not of the same dimensions, uh, I mean, they actually don't have to be a square, but they have to be of the same dimensions, otherwise you can't add or subtract them. For multiplication, we'll consider a more general case. So if we have a n by p matrix A and a P by M matrix B. We can define their product, uh, which will denote as C. So we'll again use this index notation. So the element of C in the ith row and jth column, which is the result of the product of matrix A and product, uh, matrix B, is found by the following algorithm, if you will. And we'll do an example of how this works out. All right, so this sum runs from k is equal to one all the way to p. So p is the number of columns in matrix A and the number of rows in matrix P. And in this case, this will give a matrix C which has dimensions n by m. Okay, so as an example of this, we can consider 
multiplying the following two matrices. Okay, so in this case, matrix A is a three by two matrix and matrix B will be as follows. B2, 2, B1, 3, and B2, 3. Okay, so this is a two by three matrix. So given this dimen these dimensions, you can expect their product to give a three by three matrix. All right. So the product of these two matrices, which we can rewrite over here. And I'll just rewrite our algorithm over here so that you're, you have it for reference. So we have written it like this in general. All right, so and this was the element of the product of these two matrices. So this algorithm tells us that for the element of C in the first, uh, the first element of C, you keep the, you stay in the same row of A and you move along the columns and you choose the first column of B and you move along the rows. So what that means is the first element of C will be the sum of the product of uh, the following elements. So you have A11 multiplying B11. You move along the columns or you move along the first row in A so you have plus A12 and you multiply the, this by moving along the rows in B. So this will multiply B21. And this gives you the first element of your matrix C. To find the element of matrix C uh, in the second row and first column, you take this element of matrix A multiply it by the elements of the first column of matrix B. And then this element of matrix A with this element of matrix B. All right, and so on. And if you're not familiar with matrix multiplication, I encourage you to pause the video here and try to fill in the rest of uh, of these elements. All right. So remember, you should end up with a three by three uh, matrix at the end. So I encourage you to fill in the the other uh, elements of this matrix. All right, so here we found C11, C21. And C31. And 
you need to find what the rest of the elements are. All right, so that's our algorithm for matrix multiplication. There are a few important things that you need to remember about matrix multiplication. So not all matrices can be multiplied together in contrast with numbers. You can always multiply any two numbers together. The other thing that's very important is the order of multiplication matters for matrices. So this makes a difference. All right, and what I mean by that is if you multiply matrix A by a matrix B, that's not always equal to multiplying matrix B by matrix A. And in fact, this often can't be done. So uh, a sub point to this is the order of multiplication of matrices can only be inverse for square matrices. Otherwise it's not defined. All right, so when N is equal to M, and in fact, the fact that when you can reverse the multiplication that these two quantities aren't equal is uh, plays an important role in physics. So this property is called uh, lack of, uh, it means that there's no commutativity in matrix multiplication. Right? And this is uh, especially in, for example, quantum mechanics, this plays an important role. Right, and this property is so important that there's actually a uh, quantity defined, which we call the commutator, and it's denoted in square metric brackets uh, like this. So for two matrices A and B, the commutator is the difference of the product of these two matrices in different orders. All right, and finally, we'll finish off by defining the inverse operation for a matrix, which we'll call A. All right, so by definition, the inverse of a matrix A will denote as A superscript minus one, and the property it has to uh, satisfy is when you multiply A by its inverse, regardless of the order. So you should also be able to first have the inverse and then multiply it by A. This has to give you what's known as the identity matrix, where the identity matrix is a matrix that has ones all along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. All right, and this is sometimes written 
in shorthand like this. And here, this delta i sub j is shorthand for saying this is equal to one if i is equal to j and this equal to zero if i is not equal to j. So you can see from this definition that i is equal to j all along the diagonal, which gives you ones. And everywhere off of the diagonal where i is not equal to j, you get a zero 